Hello and welcome back. This time we continue with Musashi. Last time I showed you how far I got within one weekend, which was main assembly of all the bigger parts and then giving the whole thing a base coat. Now this time we are going to continue with that. By now I added a little bit of basic shading, just using different types of gray, one on top of the other basically, so I get uh, the lighter gray tones on top like on superstructure on the artillery and things like that and keep it dark in all the corners and all the dark places where you would have shadows just to have that and we will continue with construction and with more of the painting the dirt the grime and the rust and here we see that i messed it up and it is was my take on creating the stained deck. Musashi uh, had a stained deck where they used the suit and dirt from the ship's funnels to darken everything so they would not be so visible at night. I tried to recreate that and as you can see it looks terrible. I'm so not happy with it that I'm just washing it off again. And I use this um, some like this green household cleaner just some soapy stuff let it sit for a little while and you can see it you can just wipe off a lot of the paint the base coat is still there although it is all the same water-based citadel color but uh, yeah several layers can just be washed off again and then i would just rinse it with clean water and try again So oh, let me make some rust streaks on camera just so you know what the next steps are and how I did it. Like this one is really dirty already. And let's say I want to have a little bit here. I have very diluted oil paint. That's maybe a little bit too diluted. But it's just oil paint and brown color to make it just look a little bit rusty, shabby, dirty. Or you take a little bit more. I hope that is enough. And just make it like it was washed down by rain or seawater. Something like that. And if you think you did too much, you're not happy with your results or whatever, you can just take clear uh, white spirit and clean that off again. Or like manipulate that a little bit, just clean it off a little bit, push the paint around. So whatever you think is appropriate for what you have, what your project is. The only thing you would have to keep an eye on is that um, the paint, or in my case, I uh, applied a varnish to that. It has to work out with uh, white spirit. So you should, if you are not sure, you should make a little test because in the worst case you would just dilute all your paint job down to the plastic. And yeah, then you could just repaint your model. So be sure it works and the paints don't eat each other up. And then you can just play around with white spirit and oil paint as much as you like. I 
here's a lot of the anti-aircraft guns coming together now those that I painted before and these are just spray painted black on the sprue so now I cut them off glue them in place and maybe add some dry brushing so let me show you very quickly how I spray painted the thing with a brush I mentioned before that I added shadows and highlights just by mixing different types of gray adding a little bit of black or white or at least a lighter gray and as you can see here it's uh, just hitting the lower parts the lower core edges of the turret and things like that with a darker tone to just pronounce the shadows a little bit more and then go over it with a lighter gray to bring back the highlights and now i just paint some of the details like the blast bags and things just with a brush so the whole thing gets a little bit more of detail and looks a bit, little bit more interesting and after the brushwork i would add just some some washes this is from from citadel uh, black and brown washes mixed up so the texture and the details on the blast bag would be a little bit more visible and i added the same on on the other parts like this little periscopes and things just so there is a little bit more going on there and just a quick test how the whole thing looks like when you put it on the ship i think it's kind of nice to hear So now it's just placing one million guns into their positions and yeah, all the small details like the flagpoles and uh, winches and things like that. So well, the detail work. I cut this into the right sizes so there's no, no overlap or anything and then We'll try to get those things onto the deck. And with all the details added, the model is complete. It was really nice to go through all of that, like building the model and at the same time doing some of the research and try to figure out a little bit more about the history of the ship. So that is always like the cherry on top, that you get some more information and might learn something that you didn't know before i think that is yeah like the nice part about the model building thing that you get some some research done and learn something about what people did like 70 years ago and maybe even why they did that so with a final overview i think that's about it Thank you for watching.